got to be glad to be back in here this week, given what happened to you last time. Huh? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just the UFC gave me such a quick turnaround after what happened. You know, it's a blessing. Super grateful. Um, what was that like for you, you know, finding out that close to the fight that, hey, man, guess what? All this work done, nothing. Yeah, I mean, it was very interesting. I was like literally getting ready to go on the bus to the venue and get that news. And, you know, it was a lot of emotions of anger, of just, you know, I was mad at him. But uh, in the end, you know, it, I mean, it worked out. Now I'm, I'm uh, fighting over here against a top 15 guy and, you know, got a new contract and the UFC took great care of me. So, I mean, it was meant to be. How long did it take you to come down and, and like get level headed again and calm down when the, when that happened? Yeah. Did you go to the fights that night? And yeah, I went to the fights. I left a little early because I was just kind of bummed out. You know, seeing all the fans there, the O2 arena is cool. It was like sold out 20,000 people. And uh, so I had to hit some really hard training sessions after that to just kind of get that energy out. And then I went on vacation like I was supposed to and just enjoyed that. Took some time off, got away a little bit and came back refreshed and ready to jump back in camp. Tell me about your 2018 because by just about any stretch, that's a pretty epic calendar year. I mean, you, yeah. you win a title in LFA, you get the shot on the Contender Series, mm -hmm. you do fantastic there. You get, you know, you get a contract, you get signed to the UFC. Yeah, it's been, just been up and up and up. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk to me about that year and like what you were thinking at the end of the year. Like, wow, did I really just do all this? Yeah, yeah, it was such a great feeling laying in the back of that locker room after fighting Cesar Ferreira. Uh, just. Obviously, I was hoping for the finish. It was very close a few times, and I was hoping I was going to finish him, but I was just so happy, man. I, I got three knockouts and a decision over a top you know, 20 guy, and um, just I, I believe I'm on the fast track, man. And now I'm, you know, be at my first co-main event for, uh, for the UFC. The decision that you got was obviously you had to do some traveling to, to get to that fight, right? Yeah. You feel good to be back in the States now on this one, or was it cool to be able to do a little globe trotting and, and see another part of the world. Yeah, it was it was actually really surreal and cool because the first place I went was South America where I got in a lot of trouble down there. And then uh, the second place was in England where I used to live um, and went back to Spain where I used to live as well. So it was kind of like full circle, just, uh, you know, getting around all the places that I used to be. And But obviously it's nice to fight stateside and more, more of my people can come and enjoy the fight live. You're, um, you're at about six months now since your last fight. Obviously, you did all the prep work for the one two months mm -hmm. ago. Um, does that feel like it's going to be an issue for you being out for six months, or do you feel like there was, there'll just be the carryover from, from being ready two months ago? Yeah, you know, I just believe I put so much training in for that last camp, so much training in for this camp, so you're going to see a new uh, Ian Heinish for sure. Um, and I believe that you know, I'm taking six months out, which always sucks. It's it's good to stay fresh, but he's almost over a year. So he's going to have more uh, cage rust than I am, and I, I feel good. I don't feel like that's going to affect me. I was going to ask you about that. I mean, he's been out for a while. I mean, do you feel like – he's also been out because he's had some fights scrapped either because of him or because of an opponent. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that that is something that energizes somebody like him, or do you feel like that, you know, works against him? And is there any way that you can even tell? Yeah, I mean – he, he's coming off some injuries and stuff, so he had to take some time off. And I'm sure he's hungry to get back in there. But, you know, those nerves of not being in that feeling for a while. And, I mean, he, he seems super confident. I listened to some interviews. He's kind of looking past me a little bit. And that's, that's good for me because uh, if he looks past me, it's going to be a long night for him. Tell me a little bit about what he brings to the table and kind of, you know, what you thought when they called you and said, hey, this is the matchup. This is what it's going to be. You know, what's he great at? What do you need to watch out for? Yeah, you, when I when I watched it, uh, a few fights of his, I was like, yes, take this. I was very happy with the matchup. I'm excited for it. Um, I fought a lot of jujitsu black belts. Obviously, he's a world champ, you know, but they're they're all good at jujitsu and um, and a few Brazilians that are also like Cesar Ferreira is a three strike black belt. But I do very well against these black belts, and my wrestling just counters it really well. And obviously, I have to watch out for him taking my back. That's how he finished his past three or four fights. So you know, that's something we've worked on, and. and I'm not. I'm. You know. I'm not going to be shy to even take him down. So, a win on Saturday, I think, gives you three Brazilians out of your last four. Yeah. Is that a thing that you're trying to, to make uh, the Ian Heinish thing here? Yeah. Well, it seems to be like we were just joking with my buddy, like they keep throwing me Brazilians, and you know that's fine. You know, and most of them are black belts. So, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's it's nothing new for me fighting a, a guy who's very uh, good at jujitsu, and so yeah. I mean, like, keep them coming. 
you keep uh, eventually you keep beating black belts they'll stop wanting to take fights with you probably yeah i mean <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. I mean, eventually I'm going to get a striker or someone where I'm going to actually go for uh, my game plan is going to be take them down. So, but yeah, I'm just I'm just growing every day, and I believe I can hang with the best even on the ground. So I almost sub Scissor Ferreira, and uh, I believe you know I could do the same to to um, Antonio.